Hey there, YouTube folks. This is a very experimental test to um, do some live streaming. Uh, my name is Austin. Thanks for tuning in or watching. And I just got a microscope and the microscope comes with a basic camera. So that's, uh, I decided, let's look at some of my ferments under the microscope. So that's what this is about. Um, what we're looking at right now is kimchi that I started about six days ago. In fact, here it is right here. It's very hard to do this work, I have to say, because I'm smelling the kimchi after five days and I'm just constantly hungry. So this is our radish kimchi, uh, one of my favorite uh, recipes. So I basically just took a little tiny drop of it, dropped it onto a microscope slide, which, or a micro, yeah, a microscope slide, which if you don't remember your high school biology looks a little piece of rectangular piece of glass and then you can see those little, tiny square is called a slip cover it's another even thinner piece of glass and then you put that together and then you put the um, uh, the slide onto the microscope stage which I think I can do this without messing things up here and kind of just show you the setup that's that little part there um, where the lights kind of emanating from beneath and then uh, you just kind of focus and dial it in to the right magnification. And so really what we're looking at right now is that droplet I took a couple hours ago. And um, I believe these, uh, what we're seeing is the lactobacilli, which is the uh, rod-shaped bacteria that are primarily responsible for vegetable fermentation, such as kimchi. So uh, again, sorry, it's a pretty basic um, camera. And if this goes well, I'll definitely upgrade the the camera to get a little bit more uh, megapixels, but so I'm kind of dialing, rotating the, the knob, and what that's doing is it's focusing up and down through three dimensions of the uh, of the liquid, even though it's very thin, it's still three dimensional. And you can kind of see the uh, microbes; they're they're hanging out. And again, they're kind of rod shaped, and that is um, so the kind of clear background is just just water, the liquid. But if we, we can kind of navigate around here and maybe find ourselves a piece of uh, vegetable matter. So kind of, uh, this is probably a little piece right here in the middle of probably like cabbage or radish or one of the things. And um, the little round red circles are probably oil from the uh, red pepper powder, the um, gochugaru. So uh, it's pretty interesting. Again, I, it's just a test to see if we can get this going, and I've got loads of different ferments we can look at under the microscope if this works. But yeah, you can kind of see they're hanging out, doing their thing, fermenting the food here. Looks like some you can kind of see are in uh, little chains. Um, some are just on their own, but uh, yeah, they're doing their thing. So as I learn more, I will uh, guide us through this uh, microbial world. Find anything else interesting? Yeah, here's another little bit of um of plant matter. So again, I'm kind of zooming up and down through the medium, and I think this is a uh, uh, 400 times magnified. And the only reason I say I think so is because I I don't know what the default magnification of the camera is the um, the objective which is the uh, magnifier that's like right on top of the slide is one component and that's at 40x and then the eyepiece which is the other component has a different magnification so if the mag if the eyepiece has 10x then 40 times 10 is 400 so um, that would be 400 times and I think the uh, camera which replaces one of the eyepieces on this on this model it's probably 10x, so uh, that's why I say it's it's probably 400x. Um, it's doubtful that it's a 1,000x. That would be the other option, you know, is a common sort of eyepiece magnification, but probably not the case. But anyway, just wanted to uh, test this out. Um, let me know if you find this interesting at all, and I'll definitely do more of them because I'm certainly fascinated by this incredibly tiny, incredibly busy microbial world that helps make our ferments. All right, thanks for checking us out.